all right y'all we are back with another video and here we go again now this one right here is coming by duck and he said that donald trump selects his running mate and this only helps him win in 2024 now we've been talking about this for a while about who should he pick uh you know a lot of us said byron donald's Vivek Ramaswamy. I mean, it's a lot of names. You, and I know a lot of y'all, if you've been watching me for a while, I always said that I wanted to be Tucker Carson, which at this point, it's probably not going to be Tucker Carson. You know what I'm saying? So as you got at least the funny, it's a lot of names. I just hope, you know, whoever it is, you know, they can be the next president after Donald Trump is finished running. So he do not want to make that mistake again uh, like he did the first time with you know who so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and dive straight into it make sure y'all hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section who do y'all think donald trump should pick for vice president let me know like i said before hit that like button i will leave the original video in the description make sure y'all go to doug channel let him know that i sent you all right so without further ado let's go ahead and dive straight into it and let's see exactly what is going on so let's go. So I look at the news and there's just like article after article on Trump's VP pick, Trump's running mate pick, Trump's money. But when there's like over 12 articles, I address it. So I'm going to boom, 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 bring up all the articles for you. Just catch all the good stuff from each article and move on and you'll be all caught up on the vice presidential pick debate. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is where my happy patriots are. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are part of my happiness. So thank you for watching. I hope, I know it's impossible to make a connection, but I'm trying as hard as I can just to look right in your eyes and say hi. So thank you for watching. And I hear you all saying, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I hear voices. So look, this is the first article. There's a lot of anti-Semite stuff going on on the right, but Here's Trump. Trump, my running mate, will be a supporter of Israel. Uh, during our interview with Donald Trump, he kept saying he was the most pro-Israel president ever and will continue to be if elected. He pulls no punches when it comes to Joe Biden, but also has a critical commentary on the Jewish state. So here's the article specifically asking Trump. We want him to be a supporter of Israel on the vice president. And Trump says... You'll have an Israel supporter that I promise you. Wow. Anybody that's vice president for me will be an Israel supporter. Mm. You don't have an Israel supporter right now. You, you do know that. Kamala Harris is not a supporter of Israel. She's the opposite. And Biden is not a supporter of Israel. She supports the enemy, but he supports the enemy too. This goes into mm. the importance of one of the criteria for Trump we didn't know about before. The vice president must be an Israel supporter. There. Uh, this one I got from this uh, Australian newscaster, Rita Panahi. Many of you know her from this Australian. She's a huge conservative Trump supporter. DeSantis is GOP voters' top pick for Trump VP poll finds. And she says, hell yeah. So I only bring this up because so many people hate DeSantis. And I, we, I, I love him. I think he's great. Here's Tampa, Florida. Former President Donald Trump may have spent the primary season slamming Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, but the Republican voters want to see the Florida man join Florida men join mm. forces. A New York poll uh, gov found 64% of Republicans and Republican leaning independent voters when they asked if they approved or disapproved of Ron DeSantis as Trump's running mate indicated they would be okay with it. 64% is very high. The point is that DeSantis is polling well as a VP pick, and especially probably if people are looking forward to the next election. Uh, and, and I've read other articles on people saying, like, he's disqualified, you cannot run from the same state. There's a rule about that. But that allegedly, it's actually, the, it's very easy to get around that rule, and that technically you can have two people from the same state. I've mm. reported on both sides of that. But I'm only saying a lot of you will flood the comments going, no, no, it's unconstitutional. You can't have two from the same state. And uh, some constitutional scholars have told me that that is false. That's all. It doesn't make it false. I got to tell you what they tell me. Over here in Crazy Land Newsweek, I love this one here, Donald Trump gets surprising VP suggestion from Roger Stone. 
Now, Roger Stone is one of his big inside guys. And there's going to be articles coming up that tell you like all these consultants that are whispering in Trump's ear, like they're trying to influence them and they're leaking their picks out to the public. So they're trying to manipulate hmm. us into going to Trump and saying, this is our guy. Not Just remember, this is part of how the process works. Names are leaked. They're floated up. Yep. It's all in flux. Mm -hmm. Conservative political consultant, and commentator Roger Stone gave former President Donald Trump a surprising runaway suggestion in 2022 race for the White House. Now, here's where you guys owe me a huge thank you. I'm going to cut through all this miles of frabba jabba in the New York, in Newsweek article and get right to the Roger Stone headline. I'm like your editor. Quote, you know who I'd like? This is according to Roger Stone. I just thought of this last night, so he hasn't been thinking about it long, guys. Hmm. Devin Nunez, 20-year member of Congress, former chairman of, the, chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, someone Donald Trump is very close to and trusts entirely, Hispanic, a former farmer uh, before he went to Congress, from my home, the San Joaquin Valley, my Turlock Denaire people, give me a shout out. I think he'd be an excellent choice, Stone said. I think wow. so too, by the way. But the problem is Devin Nunez runs Truth Social. You know, he's worth billions of dollars now. So I wonder if Roger Stone's going like, I, I hope that he picks Devin Nunez as the vice president so I can go over and run Truth Social. It ain't no Trump. tell who it's going to be. I don't know. Next article. This one is from theconversation.com. I have not heard of this website before, but who will Trump pick as his running mate in 2024? The Veep stakes are higher than usual. This came out yesterday. Making race a priority which again, I'm against using race as a criteria, tells you nothing about the subject matter and also implies that people are stupid. Even blacks are dumb that they'll just vote for any old guy in there if you make them the right color. It did kind of happen with Obama. A vice presidential candidate is usually chosen based on a political calculation. For instance, uh, the running mate can be seen to offset a presidential nominee's weakness, uh, be they real or perceived. The relatively young uh, northerner, John F. K. JFK, for example, chose the much more politically experienced southerner, Lyndon Baines Johnson. Barack Obama, running to be the first black president, similarly chose the older and more experienced and reassuringly white Biden. For white people, did that bring you any comfort that they put a man whose brain is a bowl of cream of wheat. So it is. I, this is why I just think the race thing is just ridiculous. Yep. In his first run, Trump settled on Pence, talk about white, mm. to offset his perceived weakness and evangelical voters. I'll admit, I, I really admired Pence back then. A crucial mobile. So this is just about, does Trump do it to try to balance himself out? Like, I need a woman, you know, a woman. Yeah, and that's the thing right there is that that's the mistake a, a lot of us saying that they don't want Trump to make again, like picking another pence, somebody that just straight turn they back on you. Just straight turn they back on you. Man didn't even want to endorse Donald Trump. Man running over there to CNN just crying. And it's just ridiculous because he got thrown out quickly. Tucker Carson ended his career, and now he mad at Donald Trump. So at this point, a lot of us, like, we don't know who it's going to be. And I've been seeing a lot of people in the comment section, especially off my last video where uh, we was talking about the VP selection. A lot of people were like, they, he shouldn't pick Ron DeSantis. A lot of people saying they don't trust Ron DeSantis. They feel like Ron DeSantis is another snake. That's what I was seeing in the comment section. So y'all let me know how do y'all really, really feel about Ron DeSantis probably being a potential VP pick. Which I've said before, I like Tucker Carlson, Lee Stefanik. I even can go as far as saying like By like Byron Donalds would be great. I mean, Byron Donalds would be gr a great VP pick. You know, him, Vivek. Like I said, if I had to pick a woman, at least Stefanik, I like her attitude. She's somebody that can handle business on that microphone. I'm telling you, at least Stefanik, she will go off. And I feel like she is somebody that can really just turn up. She'll be a way better woman VP than Kamala Harris. I can tell you that much. But uh, let's get back to it. I actually think if you're going to do identity politics, picking a woman is the smartest one because 50% mm. of America are female voters. If you're trying to appeal to some, some group of people, 
that are just going to absolutely make it about DNA and biology and materialism, then pick the biggest one because uh, let's say blacks are 12%, Hispanics are 15%, whatever the percentage is, women are 50% and even more of our voters. So fine, you wanna go and patronize someone? Go patronize the female half of the United States. Mm -hmm. I don't think it works really because uh, most of the women that wouldn't vote for Trump will not vote for him under any circumstances. And most of your right-leaning women who have their brain do not freak out about male leadership. Next article, please. Trump, VP search is starting to get serious. The former president is considering around a dozen contenders. Twelve? Why is the number getting bigger? Though hmm. the list is in flux. Donald Trump's aides are vetting potential vice presidential candidates at Mar-a-Lago as the former president floats an expansive list of names in private conversations. Now, this is the biggest news, okay? Okay. Is that Trump is formally walking, parading them before like a beauty contest, having meetings at Mar-a-Lago. They're now in, officially in, the vice president discussion. Here's Susie Wiles in the article. Susie Wiles, a top advisor to Trump, is leading a close to the vest process of narrowing a list of around a dozen lawmakers and other Republican personalities under consideration, mm. according to multiple people familiar with the process. The campaign has already hired an outside firm to vet candidates and prepare research documents. This is really funny because what an outside firm does is you go and you get a Democrat firm and you hire them to do an investigation on all 12 of these vice president candidates coming up with the dirtiest dirt you can find on Twitter, in their banking records, any arrest. It doesn't matter what you've ever done. Mm -hmm. They're going to completely eviscerate you. They want all the bad news out now before they make the decision. Yep. This is a, a, it's a really neat part of the vice president pick on vetting them. Former First Lady Melania Trump, who influenced Trump's decision to select Mike Pence in 2016. How's that going? Trump. Melania picked Mike Pence. She picked Dr. Oz. How's that? Are we? And she likes Tucker Carlson for VP. Has been kept apprised. And Trump's son, Donald Trump Jr., says he speaks with his father frequently about who is in contention. And Donald Trump Jr. has a list of young guys that he likes. And I disagree yeah. with him on his list, but he really likes uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, for instance. And I just think he'd be terrible. As a, I don't think he gets Trump anything as a VP pick. Here's uh, News 18. And the, the thing is, it's like, even if you was to pick, like, let's say if he do pick a woman, let's say if he he pick Elise Stefanik. Can Elise Stefanik, like, be the president, like, after that? Can she kind of control everything? Could she do it? I think she could. But, you know, I understand Doug said he don't like Vivek. I actually like Vivek. I really like, like, his ideals, like, fresh new ideas. I like Vivek. But I did mention before that I like Byron Donalds, man, and uh, which overall out of everybody, I really, really wanted to be Tucker Carson. I, I really do. I really wanted to be Tucker Carson. But as it been going on and Trump been sitting down, it's like he ain't even mentioning Tucker Carson no more. So at this point, it's like we don't know. We just it's just kind of all up in the air right now, just all up in the air. So we all just sit back, just kind of wait and trying to see uh, what is going to happen. Like, who are he going to pick? Who should he pick? So. Some of these articles dropped just a few hours ago. So this is, you know, I haven't vetted these Christy articles Nome. like, I, like yeah. they're vetting the vice president. Who will Donald Trump choose as his Veep and how will the selection process look like? Uh, not a lot of news here. Just hear this quote. Donald Trump and his supporters will expect nothing less than undying loyalty from Trump's vice president pick as election day nears. The reason for this is their leader's experience with Mike Pence. You know, this is just generic bad journalism. It's very easy. I could have made that up and written that in an article. Mm -hmm. This is News 18 not doing their job even. This one, I saved my best article for last, guys, right here. 1819news.com, never heard of it. I just like the title. Quote, it's all propaganda, unquote. Hmm. Tuberville, Tommy Tuberville, seems to dismiss Katie Britt and others as Trump's VP in a political interview. We're still months from the presidential nominees have historically selected their running mates. However, 
That is not stopping speculation on who presumptively Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump will choose. According to Political Report on Sunday, vetting is underway at Mar-a-Lago and is led by Trump advisor Susie Wiles. Susie Among Wiles. the names are Senator Tim Scott, J.D. Vance, Marco Rubio, uh, Christy Nome, Sarah Sanders, mm. Doug Burgum, no, U.S. Rep. Byron Donalds, former U.S. Rep. Tulsi Gabbard, no, and <laughs> Alabama's junior U.S. Senator Katie Britt, which is, uh, that's a name from Mars. Okay. However, in this report, Trump ally and U.S. attorney Tommy Tuberville seems to dismiss those names as propaganda. He'll ask you about people, says Tommy Tuberville, said in an interview. The senator cautioned that those names being promoted by Trump allies or political consultants could be treated skeptically. Quote, all I can tell you is mm -hmm. if you're hearing any names, it ain't going to be them. It's all propaganda, unquote. The former football coach said in the name floating felt familiar, um, quote, like football coaches, whenever there's a job opening, my agent always puts my name in there and gets me a raise get me publicity and all that. Tuberville echoed Trump's own advisors who have expressed annoyance at some of the behind the scenes maneuverings of consultants. So Trump's own people. Main thing I liked about that article is it shows the process that it's like making sausage. Okay. People, one consultant will throw a name out, not just to Trump, but they'll throw it out to the media yeah. to see what you think of Ron DeSantis, Marco Rubio, Christy Nome, mm -hmm. Tim Scott. They'll go, what about this? And they're kind of, they're looking at the public. They're looking at the headlines. They're listening to you. Yep. So don't be afraid to be vocal about it. Tell us in the comments below who on the list do you want? Your vote is more important than anybody's. That's right. Salute to Doug, man, for another great video, man. Another great video. And like I said, it's just so many names right now. Christy Nome, and that's another one that I said that that's pretty good. I heard a lot of you said that y'all like Tussie Gabbard, and some of y'all say y'all don't like Tussie Gabbard. So at this point, man, it just it, it kind of just like it just in the air, you know. And I understand a lot of people don't like, but it's a lot of people like Vivek because every time I do a poll on the channel and I make a poll, Vivek beats everybody. When I I can put Tucker Carlson in there, Byron Donalds in there, Vivek wins every single poll that I put up every last one of them so like i said i i really like vivek i feel like he is somebody that can take control after trump do his four years i really feel like vivek can you know can take control i really i really do i feel like somebody like Elise stefani uh can do it uh byron donalds another great one that can do it so but we all just don't want him to make that mistake of this uh of uh, mike pence Again, because now he's a hater. He didn't ran over there to CNN. He talked crap about Donald Trump. Still refused to endorse him. So we ain't worried about Mike Pence. But like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section who y'all think he should pick. Thank you all for watching. And I catch y'all in the next one.